And welcome back once again to Everyman Driver. I am Dave Erickson here at the 2014 Mudfest in Snoqualmie, Washington. And we are here at the Dirtfish Rally School. And I'm behind the wheel of a vehicle I don't get the, behind the wheel of very much. It's a 2014 Mercedes-Benz GLK 250 Bluetech 4 Matic. And we're gonna head off right now to head on this off-road course to check it out and see how, uh, how off-road capable it is. In fact, there's Melissa from Every Woman Driver. She's driving the 2014 BMW X5 xDrive 35D, which is of course is a diesel, just like my vehicle here. I've got a 2.1 liter inline four. They call it a bi-turbo diesel, 200 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, seven speed automatic transmission. Pretty fancy. Uh, this is, seems more like a, a glorified station wagon, kind of low to the ground. It's got just uh, two rows of seating. This thing is pretty loaded too. It's a uh, MSRP is just under thirty nine thousand dollars. Thirty nine. They have every possible package on this thing. This thing has got uh, is fifty seven thousand uh, dollars as tested. Fuel economy in this diesel twenty four city thirty three highway. So that's pretty good. So they're looking for that average mixed driving number of twenty eight miles per gallon. And I'm just really curious. I did a they call a uh, an autocross test in this just yesterday. So we're gonna see how it handles here off-road, going around corners, through mud, over some moguls, and uh, put it to the test. I'm, I'm looking forward to what this will do. So here we go. Might actually even catch up to Melissa. You can look at all that dust over there. They call it Mud Fest, but it should be called Dust Fest this year. In the past, it's been rainy and cold and really was Mud Fest, but this one, they've had a water truck come through here to lay down the dust and to give us some more variety. All right, here's our first little turn in the gravel. Well, that's not too bad. Handles pretty good going around corners. Suspension. Okay. I'm impressed. Accelerate through this. Wow, 19 inch wheels. get a little bumpy right here we'll see how the suspension is you can tell me based on the bumps you know what that absorbed it pretty well I've been you know almost two dozen cars this week per day and some of those vehicles that I've been driving which are all all-wheel drive vehicles have had a hard time with that section right there I'm gonna speed up hard left maybe do a little skid <laughs> that was sweet. All right, catching up to Melissa. Again, I don't expect everybody to go off-road, especially on something like this course here in Snoqualmie. And that's the point, is to find out how these would handle in extreme conditions, because not everyone's gonna go off-road like this. This is a vehicle, I'm sure, uh, at this price point, you're gonna take take to work, maybe some road trips, but not off-road. I don't see a lot of people camping in a Mercedes-Benz or taking it out to a KOA park, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to, based on this experience so far, you should have no problem. You know, I try to come into these, these uh, reviews, even though they're a first drive and off-road review, with an open mind, uh, but I do have this reputation in my head that a Mercedes is kind of, you know, it's an upper end vehicle and there's a certain clientele that it caters to and I don't see that clientele going off road and getting all dirty and muddy. But I would say that if you want to, this car, this crossover SUV will do so and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I know I am and I've only had it uh, for the last couple of days. So keep checking back for more off-road review experiences here at the, uh, the Dirt Fish Rally School in Snoqualmie, Washington. Both myself and Melissa are doing video reviews. You can subscribe to our channels by clicking in the description below. There's a link there. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Everyman Driver.